Hi there, and welcome to what's going to be episode 44 of The Sleepers. I'm Icon, and hopefully we're going to survive the aftermath of Tanner's death. Because our beloved priest, who happened to be married to all, all manner of different people, has left a, a really bad vacuum. So Ipe, Gracie, and a lot of people are still down. But we got our hydroponics more or less running. We're going to do the remaining banks today. And then we're going to go big in terms of production. So we're going to do just like that. Well, no, we don't. I don't like that. You see, I don't want to over optimize, but this is, uh, this is not what I want to see. So we get starving animals too. Well, let's uh, let's slaughter a few then. So I just felt like I certainly would be able to squeeze in more than that, like this. There we go. And let's do this like that because this is seventy-five percent uh, effective then. That's enough for me. Okay, so we're going to grow our own psychoids in there, and let's see, maybe we don't need to slaughter anybody. Maybe we just need to haul some rice. So how's Cobra's mood? Actually, actually somebody who's not totally losing his mind. What a nice uh, change of pace. Okay. Now, we delivered some food to the animals. We've got some battery discharging here, but nothing bad happened there. Luckily. Okay, we're we're doing it. Oh, and one thing that I totally forgot, which is really important, we need to keep the animals out there. Otherwise they will eat first harvest and that would be really really sad because this will bring our settlement really into new into new areas of money earning okay but the biggest threat for the colony at this point is our own madness basically so maybe maybe we could do some counseling but i really shy away from from that with a social rating of five are there any parties we could do? Is there, uh, we could do a leader speech. Okay, Gracie, do your worst. Let's see how that's, that'll go down. Uninspiring. Okay. We tried. At least it didn't do any harm. Quite relieved about that. Maybe I should do the leader speech next time, right next to the Autobahn. Maybe that would have been more effective. Though, talking about the Autobahn, we've still got that mega screen telly. Let's use that. And put it into the Autobahn room. I still got some leftover wood, so we're going to put up some uh, dining chairs. This feels a little bit weird to put dining chairs in front of a mega screen telly, but little do I care. So, does that actually satisfy the need for high life? Oh yeah, and Lumi is a night owl. Let's uh, assign her to a according schedule there. I want to try and minimize the damage Tanner's death does on our settlement. Let's let her sleep an hour longer. If she likes to. There we go. Now, let's create ourselves two more marine armors, because I'd like to. And obviously, we need some more food. So, speaking about which, Ipe, you, un you were unarmed. I strongly dislike that. Also, there's animals. 
There's animals roaming there. I don't like that. You see these ostriches and emus? They eat the crops from my fields. It's quite a lot of them by now. So it's time to take down a couple of them birds. Not Victoria though. Crafting Victoria is not really a useful action. Okay. How did we manage to leave that uh, emu un un road? Okay, let's keep going. There we go. And the last of the emus as well. Immediately attacking Hawk, who's uh, randomly passing by. Okay. At least he didn't uh, suffer any wounds. I really want to keep Hawk out of the trajectory of the combat here as much as possible. Okay, now there we go. There's another one of those. I want to get rid of them. They're also a good source of food after all. Might be not the highest quality food, but it's food after all. Okay. <sighs> I want to get some uh, sterile flooring in that thing here as soon as possible, but the resources, you know, the resources. It's also freaking costing. Could also just plant out some hydroponics outside, as a friendly commenter has suggested. I did answer that I didn't want to have outside hydroponics because of safety issues. You know how much raiders love to destroy stuff. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, out here in the desert where, uh, where fertile soil is such a rarity, it does have have its charm, you know, and for example, putting down some hydroponics right next here to the smoke leaf fields would help a ton. So in the comments, I spoke against that, but after thinking longer uh, longer about this idea, I I couldn't deny that it had its charm, you know. We just need to find a safe spot for the hydroponics, maybe an enclosure with walls. So it doesn't stand alone, as has been suggested as well. So that might help too. Basically a greenhouse without a roof. So there we go. Or the other thing that crossed my mind was to put in some hydroponics inside my pen. Gracie, run wild. Are you effing kidding me? Gracie is now officially a child of the wild. So, are you guys kidding me? And do I even have a chance? Oh yeah, okay, we, we got a, uh, we got at least one person capable uh, of taming oh, Gracie, so... That's a good start. Colonist needs rescue? Why? Lumi went berserk. Oh, okay. It went down way faster than I could say ouch. So, that's one of the most annoying mental breakdowns a person can possibly have. I guess I'm going to arrest her, too. It's the safest way of... ...making sure that the outside world doesn't uh, do anything to her. Is everybody so effing bad at arresting people here? My goodness. So what do we do about that? This 
quite difficult. I mean, sure, we can just let her uh, roam outside there and hope for the best, but at the same time, I really don't like that. You know what? We're we're going to go to do the good old uh, fist arrestment technique. So first, we're we're going to try to arrest her properly, and if that doesn't help, we're going to punch her until she's unconscious. But everything went fine. Good. Because I can't allow Gracie to be running off. We need her. Seems like she liked Tanner a lot more than she would possibly like to admit. How romantic. Even a monster like Gracie has feelings sometimes. Now we need to tame her. Which is quite annoying, not gonna lie. But I think we should be able to keep this under control. But on the other hand, this is one of the most uh, bad situations my colony has been in since a very, very long time. You see, we have a very, very low tame chance here. Only 7.5%. And there's always the chance of uh, her turning hostile, so this might take a while. But uh, in the end, we should be eventually... We should be eventually on top of that. So... We should have maximum amounts for... for adult animals, so I don't want that many male adults. Let's keep female adults as many as we want to, but male adults would too. So we're going to sell the females afterwards. Oh, we, are any, we, we don't have any research project right now. But we're going to run out of research projects quite soon anyway. Because of the fact that we do research too too well, I guess. Uh, good old Hulk tinkering on those marine armors. A visitor. So I want to micromanage that uh, taming process as much as I can. Because I really, really need to get that done. This is horrible. <laughs> what a what a crazy uh, time we have. One stray bullet killed our priest, and what then followed was pure madness. <laughs> like seriously, that's uh, amazing. A bulk goods trader arrived. That's good news. Fugitive encampment, what's that? We are supposed to destroy an encampment and receive somebody called Hurtle. A 65 year old assassin. I love it. Good social skills, good fighting skills, good construction skills. You're hired. He has a permanent gunshot and a wound in the eye, though. Ten tribes people. Okay, we got a job. Hammer, you, you're you supposed to... No. Not like this! Okay, I, I'm tired of you guys. It's, it's now time to... Fetch somebody with a 100% arrestment chance. I don't think I got... I have that. Oh well, Ipe at least has 98%. Hammer, you're arrested. I'm so tired of you guys going nuts all day long when you are actually got a job. So get back to your job, Hammer. Greedy for impressive bedroom. We got other problems. You've got to convince our boss first that she's not part of the fauna of this planet. Thank you. Then you can pig out on food as much as you want. Yo, dude, why are you actually not doing what I'm telling you to do? Okay. 
Amazing. Amazing Grace. Ooh, okay, let's see what we can trade here. After all, these guys came all the way here to trade. Now, we could sell some of our animals. It's actually quite appealing to me. Let's sell a couple of them goats, I'd say. That's okay. They grow back, you know. Let's sell off a couple of those uh, dromedary calves too. Here we go. Just want to stock up a little bit on money here. Because I knew these guys would have some steel for me. They always do. Also some components. Nutramines. Oh, this is going to be a costly one. But luckily... We got enough stuff to actually force them to give me money afterwards. Oh, how I love it. So we bought all the necessary things here. Beautiful. Good trade. Good, good trade. Okay. So... So troubling. At least we're dishing out new masterwork chairs for the t telly room. We should just bring Gracie there. I'd say this is one big crisis of belief. Okay, Hammer. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. Bonby, ravenously hungry. There's there's food everywhere. There's milk to drink. You just need to pick something up and eat it, or you just throw a fit. Okay. But at least our Psychoid plants are growing. This means we're soon gonna be in business with some serious money earning, actually. Okay. Masterwork! Okay. The representation relates to the donkey giving birth to the donkey. Wonderful. I like it when there's no real uh, surprise in art. And Cobra went nuts too. Yeah. Oh, Cobra is an idol too. Okay, let's change this up then. We need to reduce the men the uh, breakdown rate of its place a, li a little bit there. We've got way too many of them breakdowns. Can somebody please tame Gracie? Why is it only 6.2% chance all of a sudden? Questions and no answers. And Ipe now ran wild too. Wow. We really need to uh, get Gracie back to normal. So my first verdict is that it really has more downsides than it has benefits to have several people on a lover relationship. Like this uh, polygamy thing doesn't really work out at all. Okay, Hammer. Then you hide in your room instead of building that door. That's okay. Why? What? What's the reason? Because it's dark. Fair enough. Okay, Raphael took quite some beating. Gracie ripped his ear off with her bionic arms fist. That's at least uh, something believable. Okay. 
So, sure thing. Now, we... We have to arrest more people now. And our doctor can treat himself. Huh. He's actually... Oh, man. Rough times. Seriously rough times. I never had such trouble with a... Uh, with a relationship death ever before. This, uh... I, I had no clue what I would get into, what I would, would get myself into with unlimited spouses. It's like a... It's like madness. Okay, we really need to get Gracie back into our ranks. Mostly because she's the only person who's capable of taming humans well enough. So, next thing, we need to arrest Ipe. What's going on? That's the third run wild in... 20 minutes? Okay. Sure. Then, uh, everybody's running wild. Never had that before. That's, uh, more than crazy. Because Colin is left unburied. Sure thing. What? <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm growing a little bit uh, annoyed about that. What we gotta do? What we gotta do? Yo, Ipe, get down. No, we're not rescuing Ipe. We're capturing Ipe. That's, that's really important here. And uh, now, where's that next dude? Hawk. This is uh, somehow going too far. I don't know. Doesn't feel fun anymore. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's uh, it's gonna be very very annoying until this is done. Hawk hunting hammer. Why is everybody punching hammer? Like seriously, that poor dude. He's the only person capable of taming people. I'm so annoyed about that. Stop hurting my strategically important people. This does complicate things so much more. No. And Cobra, can you now please finally put down Hawk so we can capture him and uh, get him back to safety? Maybe. Okay. Good stuff. So we, we shot Hawk off his entire leg. Yeah, whatever. He can craft himself a new that's okay. So, I don't know what to say, but, uh, it's just, it's just absurd at this point, honestly. I'm just waiting for the fourth, uh, so Raphael went on insulting spree. Because a colonist is left unburied. I thought we... Oh, somebody dropped him mid... Yeah, sure. Of course, that's truly outrageous. <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. Extremely so. Okay, so, Victoria, are you going to survive that? Wonderful. Hammer, how are you? Somehow holding on? Good. Okay. So you crazies? Well, you need some food. Okay. Emu revenge? But that must have been a wolf now. 
Okay. So you're unhappy about losing your maker role when you run off on free will. Okay, there's uh, some really, really wonky interactions here. That that's really odd. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody feed good old Hammer too, please. He's hungry too. Okay. Hawk is no no longer incapable of walking. Neither is Hammer, but but Hammer is now deciding to go not so wild for himself too. Okay. Well, everything is failing now. This is a very uh, horrible situation, but overall, we still can work out for a while. It's not like we're completely uh, disabled here, but. It sure is a uh, a noteworthy uh, story. Thing is, if we now get attacked, we're um, basically helpless. We we lost all of our people. Wait a sec, where where is Hawk? Thought we arrested him. Her. We why why are you outside, Hawk? We arrested you. Did I, did I grow sloppy there in the end, huh? Oh, I'm not too surprised. Come on, now. Good girl. Sheesh. So, this will now take... Uh, I don't know long how... I don't know how long it will take. Hammer will learn a lot about uh, his uh, animal passion there. And there's another days. So, if you guys are so mad about people being unburied... And for Christ's sake, just bury them. It's not that hard. Seriously. Okay, so we're going to put people on a higher wardening duty, so we make sure that food will stay delivered, and then we can only pray to God that somehow we will survive the next assault. Ah, and there's the raid. Right on cue. Oh, it's only, it's only 19 people against my three people in guns. And that's going to be fun. We, we're, we're done for. I'm pretty sure we're done for at this point. But I mean, hardly survivable. I mean, maybe, maybe we can call our allies for help. This is a good idea. Let's do this. Maybe this can turn the tide. Get the allies! Are these guys breachers? No, they're just uh, supposedly smart. Okay. Okay, there goes the friendly assault. Hmm, beautiful. I'm pretty sure that whatever will be left of uh, this encounter, we should be capable of taking down with our traps and such. Maybe. Maybe our friendlies will be... Uh, completely useless, though. Did they actually take down any of our enemies? Not so far as I've seen. Well, they did some damage in those dudes. Some melee damage. But, uh... That's a joke, right? That was outright war. <laughs> okay, the uh, good news about that, the movement of our enemies is now scattered, and a couple of them are also quite heavily wounded, so... This will help at the end of the day. Wait a sec, where... Well, ah, Raphael is uh, still on the phone. Let's see how this will work out. I mean, those traps will take down a couple of those, and a lot of them are also pretty heavily wounded. Uh, I do see some chances of survival now, but it's going to be tough. Not gonna lie. Uh, 
Oh, they're, uh, they're in my back now. Awesome. But we got rid of that problem immediately. This is now acting for me and not so much against me. Because now they uh, got a hard time deciding if they want to attack my back or my front. So, actually, we got lucky out of that. Okay. Well... Ducantris, do we want to have you here? No, thank you. So let's see, is there anybody capable of surviving here? Pretty much. But, not gonna lie, these are no people you really would want in your settlement, so let's see if we can gun down a couple of them. Okay. Slow learner, fast walker, night owl. Another night owl. Not interested. We... We take the fact that we're still alive out of... In such a uh, situation as the biggest bonus we can get and slowly take things under control from here on but why why is hawk free again like what is happening there is this dude automatically getting released or what i didn't know that this was freaking possible with wild people okay one more time i know that i did arrest him the last time oh. did you already release him once i have no clue because... ran wild it's not part of my colony mm -hmm. It happened to me that it was set to the last prisoner option. Yeah, but uh, you're really... released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I suppose that happened. So let's see. Capture and prisoner is automatically on release. What a steamy mess of BS. Sorry, guys, but that's just uh, what's not supposed to be happen happening because. As far as I remember, whenever people swap from colonist to prisoner, or from from enemy to, to whatever, it's uh, very, very unusual. Wouldn't have expected that, to be fair. But okay, problem solved, mystery solved, Hammer is healing up. Sorry for being sounding a little bit disgruntled here, but uh, we survived. So let's tame the three people that ran wild today in the next episode. Drop your comments down below. Tell me, have you ever had more run wilds than me in one episode and one in less than an hour? Because I can't remember that I've ever seen something like that. <laughs> Leave a thumbs up on this episode when we tame more of this wild bunch in the next episode. See you guys next time. Bye bye.